Thank you all for coming today. Welcome. Um, I'm Bert. This is Sykes, or Jordan, Eli, and, and Tom. Um, we are doing an adaptation of the Aristophanes play Peace. Um, in our adaptation, we're doing uh, an Austin Powers uh, adaptation. So, Aristophanes is known for his outlandish absurdity, um, very vulgar. Uh, into windows all over the place. Um, and so we are trying to, um, through our uh, adaptation, portray an Aristophanatic, is that Aristophanatic? We'll go with this new word, uh, feeling. So we hope you enjoy. Uh, if it's not funny, laugh anyway. And <laughs> have fun. Audience, I need a volunteer to lend their rear. That's what, don't you mean ear? No, number three, I mean rear. Austin Powers needs them to fart in these buckets. That's a, what are we going to do with a bucket full of farts? Why? Why have you stolen all the motion of the ocean? Why have you done this to me? Because, number three, someone has stolen all the world's mojo, leaving the whole entire earth sexually dysfunctioned. And Austin needs us to fill up his shagging wagon so we can go see Venus, the goddess of love, fertility, and shagging, baby, and sex, so we can beg her to get the Earth's mojo back. Well, this is supposed to be a Greek comedy. Why are we going to see Aphrodite, the Greek goddess of love? Number three, it's 2014. No one cares. And Venus does rhyme with penis. <laughs> and this play is all about the member, baby. You, come here, boy. You, sir, what, what, what did you have for come lunch? Here. Do you mind lending me your Dewey, bone? You ate the chip today, come here. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, oh, that one is oh, my juicy. God. Juicy, juicy. Come here, I can't take this anymore. Anyone know where I can get it? Nose? Nose without nostrils. Thank you for your help, number three. This might just fill her up. Basil, fill her up! Shall we shag now or shag later, baby? I'd hate to be right behind this thing once it gets started. Woo! <laughs> Austin, is this really necessary? Can't you just take Viagra like the 50 other million men in America with erectile dysfunction? No, Viagra? Me? Never! Preposterous! Why, uh, well, 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 look at these people! Why, they look like they haven't shagged in ages! Why, when I went to Wake Forest, you couldn't find an open stack! <laughs> and the ZSR was shagging, and now it's empty! Filled with a bunch of nerds! Like these folks! We must get their motor back, Basil! We must! Now quick, to Venus! Get us started! Here we go! <laughs> Man, there sure is a lot of room in this shagging wagon, eh, hey, Austin? Very spicy, very spicy. <laughs> Look! There it is! Those buckets need to move from the stage first! There it is! Venus is shagging bad! The shagging bad above all shagging bads! Why, more tails been born there than anywhere in the entire universe. Dixie Normus was born there. Foxy Cleopatra. Foop you, foop me, that girl. <laughs> <laughs> Why, now listen, Basil, you stay here by the car. Keep it running. I'm going to go knock. All right? Ready? Break. I'll keep her warm for you, Austin. Who is it? What do you want? <laughs> What's your name? Tell me. <laughs> oh no! The backdrop has fallen! But look, it's Mini-Me! Mini-Me, what are you doing here? I didn't know you could talk. Where is Venus? Who are you? I don't know you. What is your name? Hippie? Hippie? Where are you from? Why, the 70s, of course. And who is your Faja? My Faja? Well, well, Daddy wasn't there. You better tell me, you're as good as dead. Mini-Me, it's me, your old friend Austin. Don't you remember me? Yeah, why are you here? Why am I here? Huh. Well, if my mind serves me right, I remember that the little guy likes chocolate. Does a little guy want some chocolate? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. There you go. There you go. You see, come on in. You see, little guy, I'm not such a bad guy after all. And actually, come to think of it, you call me hippie. It's 2014. It's quite offensive. We prefer the term hipster. Now, what are you doing here? When did you learn to talk? Sorry, hipster. I had an accident with a laser beam a while back and uh, my memory got erased and then a after that I learned to talk. Well, that's quite unfortunate and quite fortunate at the same time. Huh, that's funny. Well, do me a favor. 
a mini me. I need you to go back and get Venus for me. Uh, actually, she left with the rest of the Greek and Roman gods. And their names also rhyme with penis. <laughs> well, well, wait on up too. Uh, Uranus. <laughs> Uranus. Uh, I see what you did there, mini me. What I got? What I got? This one. All right. Well, listen. <laughs> But why would you ever leave a place like this? It's absolutely psychedelic, baby! Cause they're all pissed at you guys. That's why they hired Dr. Evil and gave him free reign to do evil wherever he pleases. Dr. Evil? <laughs> why would they go and do something bloody dumb like that? Because he needs... Everyone was too worried with work and not enough time shagging. Every time groovy music came on the radio, they'd turn it off. The students were actually taking student, uh, condoms back to student health. Look at this kid. You know, he ain't getting any. <laughs> <laughs> He's right, bloke. You gotta get your willy wet. Find a member for your member, if you know what I'm saying. Exactly. That's why I don't know if we can ever see his mojo again. But what is Dr. Evil? What has he done with our mojo? Hmm, let me think. Please, Minnie Me, please! The future depends on it. I depend on it. My member depends on it. hit the mojo in a super duper double tap secret cave. He even called it Evil Lair. Dr. Evil's Evil Lair? Well, what does he plan on doing with the mojo? I don't know. He's got a laser beam and I think he plans to blow up the whole earth with it. Oh no! What is that freaking smell? That is abominable! It sounds like him. I think he's got a top secret technology to finish his laser beam. I'll be going now. Oh no! Here comes Dr. Evil! I'd best hide! <laughs> I'm hiding. <laughs> now that I've got my laser beam fully on, right? I have Earth by the balls. No, literally, I have their mojo. I have their walls. Guys, look at that thing! It looks like a massive! Johnson, do so you want to have uh, a. <laughs> Johnson, you have a call in line three. Hurry up, because I have some freaking business to attend to. What would Dr. Evil need with the phone? Yes, Operator, uh, could you please put a Lucifer on the line? Yes, how long? Lucifer? Shouldn't they be calling Hades the Greek god of the underworld? Shut up, conscience. It's freaking 2014. Get with the times. Ah, <laughs> oh, hello, Dr. Evil. This is Lucifer. <laughs> yes, Lucifer. Could you please send your most th two evil people down here? I need them to fuel my laser beam. Yes, Dr. Evil. I'll go retrieve Hitler and Dean Buckley right away. <laughs> And Dean Buckley, they're pure concentrated evil. They might as well be the same person. Come on, Paul. This better not be long distance. Well, Dr. Evil, it seems Hitler's busy possessing Vladimir Putin, and Dean Buckley's disciplining underage drinks. What? I mean, I can understand the whole Hitler thing, but really riding underage kids up for drinking? Come on now. Hey, watch it. She's my number one demon. Demon Deacon, that is. I got a couple of first round picks. This delicate. Creepy worker at the pit. <laughs> the criminal, the criminal workers at the pit. Parking and transportation, and a creepy guy, a Chick Fil A with a mustache and a glass. <laughs> Lucifer, you're useless. I go find my own freaking evil. Fat bastard, front and center. Shoo! That was a close one, Basil. Now quick, we must get to Doctor Evil's evil layer before he gets us up. His legs are being fully operational, or we're all doomed. Now star up. Here we go! <laughs> Look! There it is! Oh! Doctor <laughs> Evil Super Duper Double Secret Evil Leia! And look! There's the mojo! No! Austin! The computer in the shagging wagon has detected a force field! Placed there by Dr. Evil! You're going to need help if you're going to penetrate it! Guys! Flabbergast! And a Nazi are coming! But look! This force field! We're gonna need help! Someone, uh... Someone else other than you and I! Yes, uh... Someone from the audience! Hmm... Let me see... Yes, uh, you, sir! You with the raging salami! Oh my god! That is what that smell is! I just couldn't seem to put my nose on it! Very well, Basil. That's a great palette you have there. Now, yes, uh, you, sir! Could you help us out? Let me put it this way. 
We could potentially get you laid. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, I could really use some of all. See, I'm a freshman and I, uh, I live in Johnson. You live in Johnson? Well, you'd think with a, a dorm with a name like that would have a much better reputation, Bulk. I'm so sorry to hear that. Now listen, Basil, come here. Here's the plan. Basil, you're going to take your rope and you're going to stick it into the force field, create a small gap, just big enough for you, Mr. Johnson. All right, just to climb through, just big enough so you can grab him from behind and create an even bigger gap in the force field. Big enough that I can shimmy through, release the force field, and retrieve the mojo. Any I questions? I don't know about this, Austin. Sounds rather painful. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. I'm with him on this one. I don't like this. <laughs> nonsense, nonsense. And plus, plus, it's all for a good cause. All right, now listen up. To the force field, force field, let's go. Here goes nothing. Who is this pretty lady? Oh, Austin! Oh, it's Mojo time! I'll be right back! Oh, Austin! It's you! I released the force field! And I retrieved the Mojo! And you got me. Oh, it was in Cleopatra! Right you all, baby! Right you all! Austin! The gods are angry at us. We must show them we are grateful to have our mojo back. Right, you are, Basil. There's only one way to do that. We must consummate this moment. Foxy, you and I, backstage, now. <laughs> ah, yeah, baby! Ah, yeah! Ah, yeah! Ah, ah, oh! Really? That's it? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it's been a while, and, uh... I, I, I wasn't prepared, and, uh... Austin! Uh, Austin, quick! Now that we've made our plea to the gods, it's time that these people do the same! They must get down to business, and quick! Right you are, Basil! Now listen up, folks! You've got your mojo back! Now quick, off the dink's basement, the land of love and questionable decisions! And get groovy, baby! Austin, what do we do now? How do we end this play? Well, uh... Uh... I guess we could do an interpretive dance.